Right. All right, guys. So we're going to pop right into this. We're um, Today, we're going to go back to our lower body. It's Thursday, so we're going to have like our hinge lunge carry emphasis. Uh, we're going to start, typically I do like a 10-8-6 or a three-rounder of the warm-up. Today, we're just going to go through two rounds. So the reps are going to be a little bit higher. Um, but again, we'll only cycle through twice, okay? So we'll kind of make up for the loss of that third round. And we can get through it because we have a lot of stuff to get through today. So hi, Karina. So the first thing we're going to do and what you're going to need today is you're going to need a yoga mat, a dumbbell, and then something to step up on because that's what we're going to start with. Um, I don't have much room to push this computer back, so it's back as far as I can. Um, so you'll just kind of be seeing like three quarters of my body for this. Uh, but for the first one, okay, and uh, I think we should all just start right away. So just grab your box and whatever you need to and we'll get going. We're going to start with these side step ups. So we're going to do eight each side. Right? So we're gonna step up to the side. You're gonna go up, down, nice and slow. That's gonna be one, okay? So let's all do this together. We're gonna to do eight each side, okay? Two for me. You wanna come up and come down nice and slow. There's three. Yeah. Try not to collapse on that bottom foot on the way down. I'm going to do this later. All right, and then afterwards, we're going to go through side step ups on the other side. Give you guys a couple seconds to finish up. Oh, Next, we're gonna go down to our rolling reach. Okay, so we're gonna need a yoga mat or something to go back to. We're gonna kick our feet over our head nice and close. And then feet wide, we're gonna reach. We're gonna do that for 10 reps. So we have some upper body stuff to do today. So I want you guys to grab your dumbbell. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a 30 second hold overhead. So I'll be up on my feet. I'm gonna grab my dumbbell side to side. I'm gonna press it up and I'm gonna lock out for 30 seconds total. Get my timer here. So everybody grab your dumbbell. Get ready. Get it up to your shoulder. Let's go up and press. Right. Try to keep your arms locked out. Elbows right next to your ear. You want both hands or one hand? Both hands. In three, two, one, good. That was one round, guys. We only have one more. So we'll get back to our box. Go into our side step ups, eight each side. You're on your own. Here we go. Around to the other side. Your 
Dumb. We'll come down onto that yoga mat. We're going to sit, roll, and reach. Nice wide feet at the bottom. All right, everybody gets in their dumbbell. We're gonna do 30 seconds up overhead. Everybody get ready, here we go in three, two, one. Here we go, press up. Down in three, two, one, and relax. Okay. Can y'all hear me, by the way? Yeah, cool. Uh, I'm gonna quickly mute you guys. Actually, I'll keep you unmuted for now in case you have any questions after. Um, so today's gonna be, today's strength piece is gonna be interesting. We're gonna do um, a little dumbbell complex. And you know, a complex typically involves a few different movements. And then after you perform those few different movements, you rest. Uh, today, we're going to have like a unilateral emphasis, meaning working one arm or one leg at a time. So your rest is going to essentially be working on what, like, so if we're working on our left arm, your right arm is going to be resting. While we're working on our right arm, our left arm is going to be resting. So we're going to do two rounds of four different stations, so four different movements in that complex. And right afterwards, we're not resting. We're going right back into the next round, okay? So the way that this works, we're going to start with our dumbbell by doing single leg deadlifts with our left leg, okay? So for this, just because balance is sometimes an issue, and if you guys have bad balance like me, I'm just going to hold my dumbbell with two hands. So we're going to do a minute per station. All right, so I'm gonna get a little bend in that left leg, kick my right leg back. Single leg deadlifts for an entire minute. When I'm done, I'm gonna do single leg deadlifts with my right leg for an entire minute. When I'm finished with that, I'm gonna grab this dumbbell in my right hand. I'm gonna do overhead lunges. We're gonna alternate though for a minute. When I'm finished there, it's one minute. Uh, left arm, and then right when you're done, okay, that's round one. We're gonna go right back in to round two, okay? So it's a minute per station, single leg deadlifts with our left leg, and a minute with our right leg, a minute of overhead lunges with our left arm, a minute of overhead lunges with our right arm. From there, we go right back into single leg deadlifts with our left leg, right leg, overhead lunge with our left arm, right arm, done. So it's two rounds, four different movements, no rest in between movements, no rest in between rounds. So it's like an eight minute dumbbell complex. Make sense? Okay, cool. Uh, I have you guys unmuted, so if you have questions, ask now. Sean? Mm -mm. Oh, I get it. No, I'm good, thanks. Any ideal weight for this? Just whatever I'm you got. To 35, um, I would say, I mean, you're, I'm, if you're comfortable going a little heavier, you could, but just know you're going to be hanging on for eight full minutes. So the dump, just holding on to that dumbbell alone gets tired. All right. 
unmute you guys real quick. All right, cool. Let me get my timer set. Right, guys, we're going to go in about 15 seconds. Ten. All right, so here we go in three, two, one. Single leg deadlifts with that left leg. Remember, we got eight minutes straight, so no rush here. Halfway. Try to keep that toe that's kicking up pointed straight down to the ground. All rules apply with that deadlift. Keep that back nice and straight, shoulders back. Five more seconds. We're gonna go in three, two, one. Switch other leg. Ah. Oof. Halfway. Ten seconds. After this, we're going to come up with our left arm into overhead lunges. Everybody lock out. Pinky forward, thumb back. Alternating overhead lunge. We're going for a full minute. We're lunging for an entire two minutes. Take your time here. Keep your chest nice and high, arm out to balance if you need it. Over halfway. Ten seconds. Remember, afterwards, we're going into overhead lunge with our opposite arm. In three, two, one, switch arms. Right back to it. just to get you guys kind of prepared mentally. Remember, after this, we will have completed round one, but we get no rest. So after this, we're gonna grab our dumbbell on both sides. We're gonna go into the single leg deadlifts with our left, arm, left leg. Right into round two. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, one. Grab it on the side, single leg deadlifts. Round two.
Try to keep that chin down. Look right at your toe at the very bottom. Your head and chest should be all the way down. Just over 10 seconds. Three, two, one, switch legs. Try to really kick that back heel up to the sky. Fifteen. Ten seconds. Remember afterwards, we're going overhead with that left arm, alternating lunges, full minute. Three, two, one, left arm. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Keep that dumbbell off the ground. Right up. Switch arms and lunge. Halfway. Ten seconds, we're completely done. Three, two, one. <laughs> All right. Woo. Sorry about my afro right now. I'm sweaty. Ooh. Okay. Doing okay? Okay, so the next piece. Um, I've done this before. You've seen it a bunch before. It's uh, five rounds, five stations, okay? And it's a minute per station. However, when you do that and you have no rest in between stations, you end up like kind of taking a little bit of time to transition and instead of 60 seconds and now turns into like 48 seconds. Uh, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do still five stations. We're going to do a minute per station, but in between, I'm going to give you a little 20 second rest. So it's minute on 20 second rest. That's station one minute on 20 second rest. That's station two. We'll do that for five stations. Once we've completed that fifth one minute station, we're going to rest for one minute. And then we're going to repeat that whole thing five times. Sound good. Um, I'm going to follow along with you guys, but I'm going to do the first round. I'm going to have you guys do the first round. I'm going to kind of fix you guys as you're going, uh, and then I'll join in for round two. 
Cool. So the movements, weighted step ups to start, right? So we're gonna grab our dumbbell, hold it in our front rack position and we're gonna do alternating, right? We'll find something to step up on. We're gonna go one, two, three, all the way for one minute. All right, afterwards, we're gonna grab that dumbbell and we're gonna do one minute of kettlebell swings or dumbbell swings right up to eye level. Cool. From there, we're going to do candlestick get-ups. And like, if you guys saw my re, uh, recap video on YouTube, um, I'm going to give you a couple options. We are going to do this. Uh-oh. Can you guys see me? Yeah. Oh, it just said I, I was signed out. Um, so with candlestick get-ups today, typically we do this with without weight. Everybody's going to do it with weight today, and I'm going to show you why. Um, so we're going to come here. I usually grab it like this, or you can grab it here, whatever's more comfortable for you. We're going to initiate in that roll and reach position. So we're going to sit back, roll, throw that dumbbell forward, and then up overhead, okay? Okay, so when you come down, you're going to kind of bring it down. Like when you're rolling up, it's going to be between your legs and you'll come into this position and dumbbell snatch it all the way up. All the way up overhead. If you guys are like just not getting that, we're going to go here. Weighted sit-ups for a minute, okay? So we'll do that for a full minute. Afterwards, we're gonna go right into our goblet squats. Pretty standard here. We're gonna be here with that dumbbell under our chin. We're gonna squat and stand. Okay, and again, each of these we're doing for a minute. Rest 20 seconds. The last one, we're gonna do a sprawl to a deadlift. Now I made it a sprawl and not a burpee, just so you're not landing with that dumbbell on your chest. So the way we're gonna do it, you're gonna come down, pop your feet close, wide, grab it with two hands, stand. Close, wide, stand. Make sense? All right. So, Okay, so I unmuted you guys real quick. Um, so again, for the first round, again, I'm gonna sit here and watch you guys kind of fix you a little bit. Um, when I do start, and then obviously on the first round as well, I'm gonna be counting you off. So like telling you when to go, telling, telling you when to stop, when there's rest, and then, um, and then also like reminding you of what movement's coming up next. It's also kind of why I gave myself that 20 second rest so I can explain those movements because I know it's hard when we're all going at once. Um, so are there any questions before we start? Yeah, I have a question. Yes. Um, this is, I'm on a really shitty ground and it's been hurting for sit-ups. Like, so I'm afraid roll and reaches. If ever they start hurting, can I switch them? With something else? Yeah. So you were doing, uh, so even like sit-ups hurt too, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, give me like 30 seconds. Let me answer some, uh, other questions and then I'll think about it. Okay. Are there any other questions, guys? Beautiful tush, Emma. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah, Jeff, I had one. If, if we don't have a box to step up on, what can we do for the first round? Um, I would just do weighted reverse lunges. Cool. Yeah, you're kind of working the same muscles there. Um, you know what, Emma? Mm -hmm. I would say, so we're going from goblet squats. Oh, candles to get-ups. So I would say, I would say to do a, a clean and press. So like, let's do dumbbell clean and press. So come between your leg, shoulder, press, yeah. right? And you'll do that for five reps and then rotate every five and you'll do that for a full minute. Sounds good. Thanks. Cool. Yeah. Any other questions, guys? All right. So again, it's weighted step ups, kettlebell swings. Candlestick get-ups, goblet squats, sprawl the deadlift, 
minute on, 20 seconds off, five stations. After we've completed all five, we'll rest for a minute and then we'll repeat for four more rounds, five total. Cool? All right. So let me get my clock. All right, guys, we're going to go in about 15 seconds. So grab your dumbbell, get set up by your box. If you don't have a box, get ready for weighted reverse lunges. Actually, Patrick, with those, uh, if you don't have a box, instead of doing weighted reverse lunges, let's do weighted forward lunges. So you'll be lunging forward. Cool? All right. All right, guys. Got my clock here. We're all set. Have fun starting with weighted sit-ups. Here we go in five, three, two, one. Here we go. Good, guys. Make sure you're alternating feet with those. When you guys step up too, make sure you try to get your heel flat on the ground. Try not to step up with your toe. Put that emphasis and weight back in your glutes. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Good. We're going to rest for 20 seconds. Coming up next is our kettlebell swings. Grab your dumbbell or kettlebell. We're gonna go in five, three, two, one. Here we go. That dumbbell up just over eye level. Good guys. Thirty seconds. Fifteen. Be in five, three, two, one, twenty second rest. So next, we got our candlestick get ups, okay? Ideally, you're gonna do these weighted. You're gonna shoot up, throw that dumbbell between your legs, come up to that hinge position, and then drive that dumbbell all the way up overhead. Here we go in five, three, two, one. Here we go. Remember, if you can't do these, we're just gonna go to weighted sit ups. Nice, Dean. Good, Cole. You got it, Sean. It's awkward, I know. Halfway. Ten seconds. In three, two, one, and rest. 20 second rest, guys. The last one we're gonna do is that sprawl the deadlift. Remember, you're gonna do a sprawl over top of your dumbbell. Oh, sorry, we're at goblet squats, goblet squats. So goblet squats, dumbbells are gonna be right up under your chin. With that squat, you're gonna sit back and down, knees out. Go all the way down, all the way up for a minute. Here we go in three, two, one. Here we go.
Good death, Cole. Good, Sean. Try to get all the way down there. Trumpet player. 15 seconds. In 10. In three, two, one. Good and rest. So now we got our sprawl to deadlift. Okay. We're going to go in 15 seconds. You're doing that sprawl. When you pop your feet up, pop them up nice and wide. Hinge over with a nice straight back. Grab that dumbbell with two hands, stand up, squeeze your butt, back down, right back into your sprawl. Here we go in five, three, two, one. Here we go. Good pace, Emma. Cole, try to lay that dumbbell flat on the ground so you have to get a little lower. There you go, good. In three, two, one, and rest. Good. All right, guys. One minute break. I'm going to hop in for this one. I'm going to unmute you guys real quick. Were there any questions about that round or anything you found funny while you're doing it that you have questions about? No? All good. All right, guys. We have about another 40 seconds. Four rounds of everything you just did. Oof. Remember, I'll be telling you when to start, start, when to stop, what movement's coming up next. Oh man, one of those days, I'm just tired. Do you mat does it matter if um on the goblet squats, just to make it heavier, we take two weights and do it as a front rack? Or do you prefer yeah, a goblet? Fine. That's fine, you can go as heavy as you want. All right, guys, round two going in three, two, one. Here we go. seconds. In five, three, two, one, and relax. Right. Next, we got our kettlebell swings. Ten seconds. Trying to hang on for the full minute, going in five, three, two, one. Here we go.
Pepsi. Five, three, two, one, and relax. Right, next we have our weighted candlestick get ups. Going in five, three, two, one, here we go. Five seconds. And time. All right. Next, we got our goblet squats. Going in 10. We go in three, two, one. Here we go. Fifteen seconds. Five, three, two, one, and rest. Last one for round two. We got our sprawl to deadlift. Everybody get set. We're going three, two, one. Here we go. Three, two, one, and rest. <sighs> okay. Round three coming up. Guys, do me a favor on this one too before uh, before you get to your candlestick get ups, if you can, and if not, not a big deal, but try to lower your camera a little bit so I can see you. Just want to make sure you guys are all doing it right. All 
All right, starting with our dumbbell step ups, we're going in 15, 10. All right, guys, get ready. Here we go in three, two, one. Here we go. Cole, your background looks like a an ad for an IKEA commercial. <laughs> Perfectly mounted TV, little fireplace. Very appealing. All right, guys, 20 seconds. In 10. Going five, three, two, one, and relax. 20 seconds, and we're going to our kettlebell swings. It's a hot one, so make sure you guys are getting some water. Going in five, kettlebell swings in three, two, one. Here we go. Go a little over halfway. Josh, on the way down, try to bend your legs a little bit more. Keep your chest a little higher. Think about popping from your hips. Yeah, there you go. Dip, pop, good. Ten seconds. In three, two. One, and rest. So like I said, if you're able to move your camera so I can see your candlestick get-ups, do so now. If not, no big deal. So hopefully you're doing them right. <laughs> 10 seconds. Here we go in five, three, two, one. Here we go. Nice, Yerim. Try to be stable on those feet. Pop up. Just fell into a hole. There you go. Sean said he gave up. Good, Joshua. 10 more seconds, guys. Five, three, two, one, and rest. All right, about 15 seconds. We're going on to our goblet squats. Right, goblet squats in three, two, one. Here we go. Twenty more seconds. 
Remember, if you guys start to hinge forward a little bit as you squat, that's okay. Just don't lift your head as you're doing it. Wherever your chest goes, your head follows. Five seconds. Done in three, two, one, and rest. Good. Last one, we're going to our sprawl to deadlift. Here we go in five, three, two, one. Here we go. Last movement of round three. Over halfway. Fifteen. In five, three, two, one. And rest, one minute rest, guys. I'm gonna pop back into this with you for round four and five. Any questions before we move on? You guys seem to be getting everything. Do you guys want me to order some food? You wanna just make it? Sure. I can make, we can make it together if you want after this. Okay, we don't have a lot. I can't sit up this way. I don't know. Okay. You what? 30 seconds. In 20. All right, guys, round four, going to our step ups. Here we go in five, three, two, one, here we go. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. Ten seconds, guys. We're going to our kettlebell swings. One in three, two. One, here we go. Fifteen. Three, two, one, and relax.
Weighted candlestick get ups coming next. Going in 10. Three, two, one. Here we go. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. Goblet squats. And three, two. One, here we go. Fifteen. Three, two, one, and relax. One more station to sprawl to deadlifts. After this, we got a minute rest. Start right back up to the top. We go in three, two, one. Here we go. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. One minute rest, guys. All right, guys, last round, round five. We're gonna go in 10 seconds. Start with our step ups. Five more minutes of work left. We go in three, two, one, here we go.
this move. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. Up next, we got kettlebell swings. Keep going three, two. One, kettlebells. Fifteen. Three, two, one, and relax. Oof. Can't sit get ups. Going five, three, two, one. Here we go. Fifteen. Five. Two. One. And rest. Right in fifteen, we got our goblet squats, followed by our sprawled deadlifts, and we're finished for the day. Going three, two, one, goblet squats. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, one. Relax. Last one, guys. Sprawl the deadlift. We'll stretch and then get you out of here. Five seconds. Three, two. One, last round.
30 seconds. Down in three, two, one, and time. Ah. Right. All right, guys, let's find a seat on the mat. On your butt, feet nice and wide. We're gonna take a nice big deep breath in, get nice and long through our spine, exhale, hinge forward. Grab the bottom of your feet or you can grab your ankles like me, just try to keep a nice proud chest. Slide that left hand down the inside of our left thigh, right arm up and over. Switch. All right. Let's bring that right knee, the right foot over our left knee. Just going to bear hug that knee in. We're gonna take that right hand, drop it behind us, turn into that kneecap, use that elbow to help us rotate a little bit farther. All right, guys, let's switch. Bear hug your left knee in. Sean's getting the perfect angle. Drop that left hand back, right elbow to help you rotate. Right, guys, we'll come down onto our back, right knee up, over to the left side for your last two stretches. Switch. All right. <sighs> All good. It was hot today, man. That was tough to get through. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, listen, uh, today's Thursday, correct? Yeah. So tomorrow, Friday, we're back with our upper body push pull. I will see you at five o'clock. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone. Thanks so much, Jeff. Bye. 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 I have to get back to work at IKEA. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy it. You've done well there so far. <laughs> I designed this, this uh, fake setup myself.